video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create multiple strokes with a Photoshop shape. Now, I've got one here, I've just, I've just been working on. So there's a sort of one thing. So I've got black and then green and then blue. So I'm just going to remove that and quickly show you. Now I'm going to obviously do a different one than that, but just going to drag that down. It's a shape, got no stroke there. So go to layer, layer style and stroke. Now, that's the first one. Now, make that as big as possible. Now, you'll see it's not the best. So you can actually see some imperfections there. It's not a perfectly circular. So once you've actually done that, it's outside there. And I can actually just go over here. Now, you'll see actually there's an issue here. I've actually reached the limit of my number of strokes. So I can actually just quickly go get rid of those. So I'm just going to quickly go delete, 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 delete. Delete. So there is about like 10 of strokes you can add. Okay, so click the plus there to add another stroke. So you've got that stroke, and of course it chooses the same color and same size. So what you can do, as was well outside again, just go to say blue. Now you see that over, what's that over there? So what you can do, you can reduce the size down, and then you can just go click OK. Or if you want to add another one, just go click there and again reduce the size down and go to just going to go to there, click OK. And again, you can produce click there and go to maybe white, click OK and reduce the size down again. It's not white, but fairly white. Just go there. Okay, so you can see the inner one. So basically, it's great just to go out, just right. The largest first and then just go work inwards. It's probably the easiest way. Click OK. Now, there's another way of doing this. And this is the way if you're using earlier Photoshop. So just going to quickly go and select that and create another design. And go to a layer and create it as a smart object. Convert to smart object. Then go to layer, layer style and stroke. And I'm going to make that there, outside. And at this point, it doesn't show it because it's white. And so I'm going to put that. Not very good when you're actually doing it on a white background. The white does obviously is not going to be the best color. So click OK. So you've got that. And now click OK and go to Layer and Smart Objects. Convert to Smart Object. And then go to Layer and go to Layer Style again. Stroke. And I'm going to change the size. Go there. Put that to another. Click OK. A bit more of a work than uh, using the plus from the earlier version. But uh, anyway, what you can do then convert that to layer, and once again just go to layer, layer style, and stroke. And I'm just going to go for maybe green. Again, you can start seeing the imperfections when it goes out too far. It's a bit of a wobble there. You can really see on that when it starts out as a circle and then just gets a bit wobbly. Click OK. There's also a way of doing it, you can do it with shape burst. That's another option. And I'm just going to quickly go there and I'm going to select circle again. And what you can do, just go to layer, layer style and stroke. And just go there. You can just drag that fill type. You've got obviously you can use gradient. And then once you've actually got gradient, you've got shape burst. Now, obviously, with this one, it's not going to be looking particularly great as in terms of the grain, because you can see, the, obviously, the, the... But, obviously, if you've got a gradient, say, like this one, and I'm just going to choose one, you can see now you've got a... You can basically create multiple fake strokes that actually, so depending on the colour here, you can obviously set the scale there and doesn't have any effect. So, now, I want that size, not the scale. Right. Click OK. And there you have it. Hope you found that of interest. Thank you very much.